Hello, I'm Alexis Geffen in the WUFT Newsroom for Thursday, April 14th. Here's your news in 90. A Florida father and son are behind bars after being arrested for possession of narcotics and attempting to kill an officer. Witnesses say yesterday the two men were attempting to sell drugs in a Burger King parking lot. Police tried to arrest the son and father, but the son ran off. Deputy Angela Keller tackled the 24-year-old. He then tried to strangle her. Keller suffered injuries to her neck and knee. Both men are set to appear before a judge today on several charges. Florida police officers are asking for help in solving a three-year-old unsolved murder. In January 2013, a Canadian couple's bodies were found in their Hallandale Beach home. Police said the couple was bound and died of asphyxiation. Officers used the DNA they recovered in 2014 to come up with a sketch of a possible suspect. They believe it belongs to a middle-aged white woman with brown eyes and dark hair. U.S. officials say Russian attack planes flew close to a U.S. Navy destroyer in the Baltic Sea multiple times this week. At one point, the planes came within 30 feet of the destroyer. On Monday, the two Russian jets made 20 passes within 300 feet of the USS Cook. The USS Cook commander stopped all operations until the flybys ended. The Russian Defense Ministry called this a training exercise. A magnitude 6.5 earthquake struck southern Japan today. The quakes registered a 7 out of 7 on Japan's seismic intensity scale, and the epicenter was over 6 miles deep. There is some damage. Japan's meteorological agency says there is no risk of a tsunami, but the aftershocks continue to shake the Kumamoto area. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.